USB. It's been making our peripheral connections easier, mostly since the mid to late 90s. You might remember before USB, your computer had a plethora of different ports and standards. And perhaps like me, you can remember the joys of daisy chaining SCSI drives or making up null modem serial cables. But over the past couple of decades, USB has developed into a ubiquitous and truly universal standard, although possibly a little confusing. The latest versions of the standard have opened up the possibility for computers to have only USB ports, because we can connect everything that we need to via USB these days. Now, the latest standard that's been released is USB 3.2. What does it offer? Does your computer support it? Let's find out. First, we need to understand the previous USB 3 and 3.1 standards, and you'll see why in a minute. Now, the USB 3.0 standard, introduced at the tail end of 2008, and more widely adopted a few years later, promised and delivered a significant jump in performance. Transfer speeds went up to five gigabits per second, and that's more than 10 times faster than USB 2. Five gigabits a second equates to 625 megabytes per second, and that opens up a world of usable external USB storage. Now, USB 3 standard supported lots of different connectors. You have type A, type B, and micro B connectors. Type A is familiar to all of us and hasn't changed, but the Type B and Micro B are different to the USB 2 versions. Next, in 2014, USB 3.1 and the Type C connector were introduced. Now that Type C connector finally gave USB a reversible connector and cables that can have the same connector at each end. And the standard for USB 3.1 opened up new speed possibilities, 10 gigabits per second equating to 1250 megabytes per second. And that paves the way for fast external SSD drives that you can actually work from in real time. In fact, I do that all the time when I'm editing video. Now, what you need to know is that that USB 3.1 standard actually superseded USB 3.0. So that old 3.0 standard became known as USB 3.1 Generation 1. And then the faster version is USB 3.1 Generation 2. Now, just to confuse matters further, Thunderbolt 3, Thunderbolt being a different connection standard, actually uses the same Type-C connector, and it's compatible with USB. Now, when I say compatible, you can plug a USB device into a computer that has Thunderbolt 3, but you can't connect Thunderbolt 3 devices to computers that are only equipped with USB. Still with me? It's about to get even more complicated. USB 3.2 was defined in 2017, and it's now beginning to be adopted. But this standard works primarily with the Type-C connector. We'll come back to that in a moment. And it opens up a possibility of 20 gigabits per second, equal to two and a half gigabytes per second. And that's enough bandwidth for very fast SSD storage or an array of external disks. But because USB 3.2 technically supersedes the previous standards, these are now known by new names. So USB 3 became USB 3.1 generation one, well, that's now USB 3.2 Generation 1. And USB 3.1 Generation 2 is now called USB 3.2 Generation 2. And the fastest implementation of USB 3.2, offering those 20 gigabit per second speeds, is known as Generation 2x2. Two two. And it's so called because it uses two lanes of Generation 2 to achieve the speed. This is done with the existing wires that are in the cables that allow that Type-C connector to be reversible. So back to that question, does your computer support USB 3.2? Well, if it has a USB 3 port or a USB 3.1 Type-C port, then yes, because those standards have now become USB 3.2, Generation 1 and Generation 2, and the standard is fully backwards compatible. You'll get either 5 gigabits a second or 10 gigabits a second bandwidth. But if you want those fastest speeds, then you'll need to make sure that your computer supports USB 3.2, Generation 2 by 2. If that wasn't confusing enough for you, USB 4 has already been announced. It's going to be compatible with Thunderbolt 3 and offer up to 40 gigabits per second, uh, but that's for another day. The future for USB though is bright and it allows companies like Apple to continue developing non-upgradable single port machines, insisting that you can add everything you need via USB. Hmm. Well, that's all for today. I hope you found the video useful. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, you know what to do. And maybe I've done enough to earn a thumbs up. In any case, I'll see you next time for some more geekery.